Hi, it's Amber Riley, and I am bringing another program to you through Concord Seminars. We're going to launch in May of 2022, and looking forward to carrying it forward for many other uh, opportunities to come. So this is Systemic Cyclones. Systemic Cyclones was born from my own journey as a patient through cardiovascular disease. Um, the things that I learned, the obstacles that I navigated um, as a young woman without outward signs or symptoms of active cardiovascular disease and how I discovered uh, the, the danger that was lurking inside of my cardiovascular system and how I mitigated that danger and avoided a terrible outcome. And, and how the, and what the steps I'm taking now to continue in that uh, behavior of prevention for the rest of my life. But I, this is a program about your health as well as your patient's health and your family's health. Um, it, it is to understand the role and roles that chronic inflammation have in cardiovascular disease, which ultimately results in heart attacks and strokes and takes lives, hundreds of thousands of lives in America every year, men and women. I'll discuss cardiovascular disease uh, in women, uh, which is often, uh, there's a lot of myths that women in America still carry when it comes to cardiovascular disease, which is that this is a man's disease, it's an old man's disease, and that could not be farther from the truth. Cardiovascular disease kills more women, kills more women every year than every cancer combined. And we need to get that message out. I'll discuss insulin, the incredibly um, crucial role that insulin plays in all of our body's functions and how the, the widespread swaths of insulin resistance in our population, in, pop, in, in, uh, in our populations as young as 9, 10, 12 years old, uh, as well as our teenagers and our young and middle-aged adults, how insulin resistance is absolutely plaguing this country with disease and disability and illness and taking away our quality of life. I'll discuss some genetic opportunities and how um, being able to look at your own genetic profile has become so available and so, um, so much uh, more cost-effective than it was uh, 10 or 15 years ago. And what these insights can give to you when you are making your own plan for cardiovascular health rather than to respond to a cardiovascular emergency, I would much rather prevent one. And I'm sure that you probably feel that same way too. Um, and then us, as the majority of us probably in dentistry, how the cyclone of oral disease exacerbates physiological disease and physiological disease absolutely exacerbates and complicates oral disease. Periodontal disease, endodontic disease, or chronic and acute inflammatory conditions. There is no separation between a patient that is presenting in my chair with even controlled type 2 diabetes that I do not consider that medical history finding to be absolutely critical to my treatment planning for their periodontal outcomes. And that I want us to network more with our medical communities, educate our medical communities, the roles the important and uh, the important roles that dentistry and dental hygiene play with their treatment of the systemic disease of their patients. And that dentistry and dental hygiene cannot be excluded from a, an intervention and a prevention plan for a patient with various manifestations of chronic and acute inflammatory disease, systemic or oral. Uh, this is a program about bringing oral medicine and general medicine closer and closer together. Uh, it's all healthcare. Um, and we're going to do all of that in two hours. <laughs> um, I hope that you will join us. Check the link uh, with Concord Seminars. They'll link exactly to when this program is first available and then other opportunities. It'll be a live webinar. It's going to be live, interactive, nothing pre-recorded or canned. If you want to little, know a little bit more about me, you can check the QR code right there. 
that's me. And I look forward to meeting you online for this program. Um, and stay healthy, take care of yourselves, then you can take care of your family. And when you and your family are taken care of, then we can take care of our patients to the best of our abilities. So I will, I will be meeting with you soon. Thank you very, very much.